Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Borderlands 2. My name is Mikey Dubs, and let me tell you something that just happened to me. I was playing as... I, I gotta show you guys this. Actually, we gotta turn off this mod and show you the character I was just playing with. So, two things happened. Okay? First thing was I shot at a fence with an explosive damage weapon and put myself down and ended the run on Tier 3. But look at the gear I was rocking in this run. And I lost the run because my OBS decided to to, to not do its job. But I did just update my driver. So I had toothpick, toothpick, mouthwash combo. Running through these maps. Peak opener for anything that resisted fire. Grog nozzle for healing. And a heartbreaker. Like, I was popping off. Lost the entire run. That's okay. The whole point of a roguelite is not to fall in love with the previous character. It's to... It's to experience the potential of a new character. Now, for that reason, we're going right back to this, going right back to the well with Krieg. Peak opener, toothpick, mouthwash. I, I listen. <laughs> I can get the exact same thing again. I also had an anti-faction and a homing fire bee. Like we were really ramped up. I felt like it was a guaranteed run, and I said it many times. This is a guaranteed run. But oh my gosh. That run had the dash that this run could live. <laughs> okay, decent early grenades. Decent early grenades. Okay. I gotta think now. So is that the bonus package or the Rolling Thunder? It's a it's a sticky homing bonus package. I mean, are you are you out of your gourd right now? Okay. I think I know what I have to do. I don't and I don't think. And I, I honestly do not think it's a, it's a fire angle. I think it's an explosive angle. I can just get some decent explosive weapons. Okay, so we do have a launcher. Um, I'll just stick with a Vladoff. I like Vladoff over Torg launchers, honestly. But a, a TDR weapon should be good here. Now, the real question is, what do we go to first? Do we go to Strip the Flesh first, or do we go to Bloodfield Guns first? I think Strip the Flesh is good. But without Bloodbath, we really cannot sustain the grenade usage. So let's use... Let's get the Bloodbath so that um, when I do... When I do use my grenades, I can get them back. So let's just... I think actually... I honestly think that... The firestorm will be better here. Just to do some, just to do some deeps to these guys from a, from above. Toss it down right on top of them. Oh yeah. Do I, my max grenade capacity is bigger. Oh my gosh. This is the run. Let's go. No, you don't got it. You don't got what it takes. Trust me. I got infinite grenades, brother. Oh, back up. Hold on here. Okay. This could be it. This this could be the run. Two amazing grenades to start. Some iridium. I think this could be good. Now, I killed all the enemies in like half a second. I have an entire stage to farm. And this stage is pretty uh, spread out, so. The only... The only boss I could see being a problem if if we had this much. Oh, we could go launcher max ammo. Launcher max ammo. What if we just went launchers and grenades? Launcher and grenade Krieg. I mean, I could see it working with launcher max ammo. And launcher and. Okay, there's a tour weapon. Um, launchers. And grenade SDUs are cheaper. I think we can probably max them both out early. Hmm. I think that's, I think this run definitely has potential. I think so. Right, give me that iridium. Our next points are going to go into um, reducing our grenade fuse time. I think if we get a kill with a gun. Not that it doesn't matter too much with the with the firestorm, but it is gonna matter with the sticky homing bonus package. Strip the flesh plus these skills can be really, really good. Let 
Now, Son of Cromrex could be a problem because he exists, resists explosives, so can Oni, but... Oh, my Lanta. It doesn't give us Bloodbath, though. Yeah, hear me out. I really don't think this is that great of a class mod. Burn damage, useless. Magazine size, useful, but we already get so much. Shield recharge delay, not that great. Bloodfield guns, more max size. I I personally don't think this is a very good class mod. We're going to leave it behind. This is what it is. If you swap out burn damage or for uh for fire damage, we're in business. But or it's just incendiary damage, I guess it's called in this game. So we I think the firestorm is gonna be just fine for us here. But I kinda wanna try this this sticky loud bonus package. Actually trying the bonus package against enemies that wanna get into melee range of me is kind of signing up for death. Later. Oh, the bonus package. Holy moly. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, of course. Throw that past him a little bit. Ow, oh, and that's going to be a run ender. Yep. I should have been way more careful running into my own firestorm. <laughs> yeah. Not the best move, honestly. We run it back. That run had to die so that this run could live. Now, we know the potential of what just we just saw. Unfortunately, that's like a once-in-a-lifetime pull. The two shotguns. Neither one of them looked that great. Some fire damage weapons. I like fire damage, Craig. We know that. If I was going to take either one, I'll take the, the bandit one over the Torg one. Okay, we got a lot of adaptive shields. This is the better one for me for now. Only transfusion grenade. It's not as good of a start as the last time, but melee damage plus fuel the blood. That's what's that, that is something that is nice about Krieg is that you are pretty uh, flexible. Make sure I have one of each, yeah. Well, wow, that was that was ugly. Let's go this here. There we go. We don't need to. Two fire damage weapons. Okay, not bad. And instead of this Torg shoddy, let's take this one. There we go. Into round one again, we go once more into the breach. It's a melee damage shield. Oh, what is that? Launches corrosive homing spikes when damaged with bullets. Deals corrosive spike damage to melee attackers. That sounds that sounds pretty good, honestly. It sounds like it has really good synergy with the fire with the fire build. But it's only when the shield's active, right? Yeah, it's only when the shield's active, so not that useful at the end of the day. How much does the corrosive damage that do? Not too much to these guys, but that's okay. I have five points I could be putting in, but I kind of want to see a little bit more of this round one before I make that decision. Because either I can go middle tree and, you know, just try to, just try to use, um, no melee damage to do the, the dirty work. Or I can go left side tree and then, and try to make, you know, a, a mixture of grenades and TDR throws and that kind of stuff to the work. I don't like to go fire super early. The only thing I'm the only thing I'm looking at there is the lobbed corrosive cloud. Going fire super early is just a good way to die. Because you, you take like 25% of your health and the fights are way more extended and Okay, we take explosive damage. A little crunch class mod. I'm excited about that last run. I'm excited about the last two runs, but Can't can't always have the perfect runs, you know. That's the whole point of a roguelike. Like sometimes. You got a run that looks like it was going to die that lives, and sometimes you get a run that looks like it's going to live that dies. That's what's really cool about roguelites in general. Every run has potential. I seem to get one crit in this laddie, but he's not giving me an opening. There we go. 
All right, maybe it was karma for leaving behind the legendary class mod. I want something better than that hand cannon. I do. All right, so look, there is a pressure plate over in these rocks that this is the reason I started to alter my path to go up instead of down early. Anything else we want here? I like the the times three. The times three. Uh, so Jacob's assault rifles. The times one is just kind of. Leaves a little bit to be desired, in my opinion. I see resist. No, I don't see resist. Oh, so, I saw some grenades at him. There we go. Stop that, homie. Chill out. There we go. Some some crits. Everyone wants to, if they want to attack me, they're gonna take corrosive dots from the impaler. Just like that. Okay. We're gonna want shock damage, and we're gonna want. Oh, actually, that's a TD, a slide TD or weapon as well. Now we got five points to spend. Haven't spent any of them. Haven't got any real game-changing gear. How about from here? No, I, it is a times four, but max size 11. So I'm only gonna get three shots. Meanwhile, I could get a decent bandit launcher for the for the foreseeable future. So, I think it's bandit launcher angle. Large max size, large damage. It's the perfect combo for a launcher. Okay, looks like we might. Uh, I mean, it's not, it's not necessarily a bad thing, but we could be using melee damage at least in the start here. At least to start. Okay, let's do it. I can't go. I can't keep going without any points. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And make sure that we have on. We pick up that melee shield. Did. No relics yet. That's tough. All right, let's go. Easy. So it is easier once you get, you know, it, once you decide to go melee, like, yeah, it is good. Don't get me wrong. Okay. That's not looking like what I want. Maybe? I mean, if we get Legendary Sickle, I would go 100% melee. It's just once, it all depends on what we get. That's what's so nice. And that's what's so nice about learning roguelands in general is that you, one, I'm learning borderlands, but two, I'm learning like what are the pieces of gear that are what I call, uh, that I call what it's, I want to say it's, what do I call them? Pivot, pivot pieces, you know, things that are so powerful that they're worth pivoting around. Shotgun damage is nice right there. There we go. Now, something I have been theorizing is doing like a crossbreed between release the beast and like a shotgun damage, like, but that doesn't rely on fire. Like, no hellborn, right? But you just run shotguns with salt to wound. And when you get low on HP, you use release the beast. And then when you, uh, and then when you're done with release the beast, you just go back into shooting shotguns. It's like, it sounds like a really good way to stay alive when using this. Just, just, it's kind of like Iron Bear and Moe's. Just go down, brother. Thank you. Like Iron Bear Moe's, where you just hop in when you're in trouble. Same thing. Slow on that fire rate. Got him. Okay, nice. Something that I've considered doing. is like a centerpiece for my build. Just the, the swap in, swap outs from Release the Beast. And it's using any sort of shotgun. Taking a fire burst and a transfusion. Yeah, definitely. All right, we can go next. For melee builds, what's the what's the key? I think a really good shield goes hard. So some uh, there's lots of shields that synergize, but 
Uh, Love Thumper. Hide of Terramorphous. I have not seen a Flame of the Firehawk in my entire time playing Roguelands. I'm not sure if they just removed it or what. But a Flame of the Firehawk could be sick. I would not put it past them to just remove it because it is like a lot of visual pollution. Hurts your eyes. That's your eyes. This sounds pretty good. Let's toss that down. Long fuse time, but it splits and then it splits again. I see. What? No. But you are. You gotta close the gap on me, brother. Okay. The long fuse time with that grenade makes it bad. That's a good jump. What a jump. Okay, a rock pounder. Oh, here we go. Let's take this one. That was that bandit was slag. This is a decent shotgun. Times one Hyperion. The one shotgun class that I prefer times one or times two, for sure. Yep, see you later. I think this could be, I think this really could be the foundational piece of a build where we run shotguns. It doesn't have to be fire shotguns. Though I wouldn't be against it. <laughs> and then, uh... Go in to release the beast whenever we get low on HP. Now that, that'll heal us to full. You can use Release the Beast for massive melee damage. Wow. Up here in Reload Speed, plus 40 is nice. And then when Release the Beast is over, it's not like we're sad. It's going to be right there, ready for us when we need it again. So... I feel I honestly feel pretty good about it. Now let's do feed the meat. And we are we are we're prepping to use a a shotgun build, but while at the same time just making sure that our sh that our melee build is up to snuff. So the melee build as of right now is the I'm so happy we're getting Oni early. Oh. So if I do decide to go explosive build, it's going to be like nice to just not to worry about Oni at all. It'll just be Craw. Does this count? No. <laughs> Perfect throw. Didn't count. Okay. Through the head. Anything in here for me? What I should do... Hey, don't do that. Just toss a couple grenades down there. Or it'll hurt him. Yeah, that's hurting him. That's hurting them for sure. It cleared out all those lads. Maybe I want this weapon. Oh, that's a shock anarchist. We good. If we get like power P or something. Now we can't take sounds to voices yet. This is our setup. Bust these because they got long fuse time. How big is Oni's shield? Not that big. Juke. Oh, there's a grenade at my feet. Yeah, I'm fine. Close though, close. I want to get Oni a little bit lower before I go for the kill. like playing League of Legends or something, you know? You can't always go for the 100 to 0 burst. Sometimes you gotta go for the the 50 to 0 burst and poke them down beforehand. Okay, scoot to my loot right here. Alright, let's try it. Ow. Okay, I got... This could be dead. Definitely is gonna be dead. Angle. Dude, this is the toughest boss in the entire game! Dude, imagine a world where I, I can actually kill Oni. That's my own fault. Dang. 
if, if, if that if that boss wasn't so much stronger than every other boss of his type i wouldn't be upset about it but he is so much stronger better than every other of those assassins okay run it back this time we're not messing around give me a legendary ah uh, that's just that's just tough tough stuff I really do not want to mess around this time. Sniper rifle max ammo? Okay, you know... The game's... The game is going to... Try to make me lose my mind. Let's see. Sticky longbow shock transfusion. So terrible. The fuse time on that is, t is so trash. I would like a run that lives. <laughs> Let's see... Take that. Five points, I don't care. Let's go into damage, damage, damage. Oh, no shield. <laughs> there, take a shield. Washburn, refinery. I think this is going to be a tough zone. But we should be okay, hopefully. Go down, homie. I can stun these guys with my axes. They don't like that. They also take some spike damage, which is good. Gotta make sure I don't die to these laddies. There we go. I wanna look at this real quick. Max health, take that. Forward and back. Forward and back. Take care of this guy. Nice. Okay. A bushwhack. That's gonna be good. And a room cleaner. Also good. This is the guy I gotta get rid of right here. The other two are gonna kill themselves. Forward and back. Yeah, I was outside that blast zone, which is good. Only a one, sh one shot in this bushwhack, though. Make it a little bit hard to get done when I gotta get done. Okay, blow up, brother. Getting a lot of the EXP loaders, which is a huge help. There we go. Go for the melee strike. Go for the melee strike. Man, is it possible to get him to miss that melee attack? He gets it brings out so fast. No, come on. Dang it, if I didn't miss, this, this round would already be over. Come on. Before that super badass gets out here. He's gonna start shooting. Okay. Ooh. Incendiary SMG, the most uh, the most comp simple of name as well. So now whenever we take health damage, our buzz action rampage is basically going to come back up instantly. I think maybe the Merv's got some potential. And also a Reparized Transfusion. No reason not to take both of those. Ooh. Where was that? I got fear. Oh, it's back there. Wow. That's a good hiding place. For sure. Take the slag damage. Grab our pressure plate. How many, how many times can we shoot this? We can only shoot it one time, that coach gun. Dang, I was going to say. Maybe it is good, but... It's not. Hey, what's up, homie? <laughs> Shield capacity. This is just... the early, This early gear isn't quite what we're looking for, but it can all turn around. Creek, we can get there with, a, with no gear. But... This can all turn around with just some lucky pulls of the box or in a nice boss round or something like that. Until then... We just... We can do... We can do melee damage and get through. Kill you. Not a bad, what's that? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight swings for a rabbit skag? It's a pretty quick kill, to be honest with you. There we go. That's that's something that we can use right there. Later, kid. Come back.
come back here. Hmm. I like this zone. Sometimes the rabbit sky can be a little bit much. But other than that, I like it. I'm, lucky, I'm happy to be playing Krieg, someone who can actually take care of rabbit skags in a relatively simple fashion. No, no crit right there, by the way. Thank you. Okay, now we go buzz action rampage time. Oh, another fossil skag, huh? Oh, get crit. In the words of Krieg, get styled upon. All right, already 26 minutes into the recording. Two failed runs. Most failed runs I've ever put into one. A fire Snyder. We don't have to take the skill that reduces our sniper damage. Well, increases all gun damage besides sniper damage. I love fire pivots. Mainly because the fire damage Krieg is my favorite build. Six more points. A bushwhack that's a little bit worse, probably. And let's go into... Feed the meat. More max HP. That's a big chunk of max HP right there. In general, in Borderlands, with like the way that healing works and everything, you don't want a whole lot of a max HP, but for Krieg, you definitely do. Um... I wonder, because my axe counts as a bandit pistol. I wonder if getting the, the relic increases my axe. And not, not the buzz axe, but the, not, not the, the melee buzz axe, but the one you throw. It's coded as a bandit pistol. So like increasing your pistol fire rate makes you throw faster. Roach gun. I can only fire it once, though. I'd much rather just have the bushwhack. That being said, let's drop the... Max health and let's go melee damage. Not worth it. I'm gonna hope that maybe melee damage can get us there. Past the... Maybe past the first round or so. Uh, I already climbed. We're good. Go next. Okay, more bandits. And a couple spider ants. Once I get the angle on you, you're done, buddy. D-U-N, done. Later. You don't stand a chance. Where's my tubby? I feel like I always get tubbies in this area, or like... Oh, it's actually reducing my damage right there. It's crazy. See ya. We got this. This one's doing just fine. Doesn't have a signature element yet, but that's okay. You don't need to have a signature element right in the beginning of the run. Sometimes you have to know how to, you know, progress the run without getting overpowered gear. And by overpowered, I mean strong. Alright. Salt the wound. So I, I really haven't experienced any piece of gear that's overpowered. Why? Because the dragons are overpowered. <laughs> no, no. Toothpick mouthwash is OP. Peak opener is OP. Not OP. Have you fought the dragons? Those are both good guns. That one looks fun. I also reminds you just of a it reminds me of the toothpick. Just not, you know, insane. Ooh, bigger melee shield. Let's go. We do need that stuff. That's the kind of stuff we need. Alright, what do you got for me? Max ammo. Max ammo. Mmm. I'm I'm taking too much stuff. But I'm 
the reason I'm taking too much stuff is because I want to be flexible so that I have supporting elements whenever I find the transformative piece of gear. Okay. So that way, oh, like, wow, wow, what a crazy item. I have all these other items that synergize with it already. That's why we take a lot of different things. Okay. <laughs> Did you hear that guy? The guy was chatting. Love me, hate me. It all tastes the same. I think what he said. Okay, what a whiff. Really? Wow, you guys jumping down here? Oh my god, it's making it easy for me. I'm so happy they took that path. What? <laughs> We're definitely gonna be shooting beer bottles. Oh, see you later. What you think? You two think you're, you're you two think you're so tough because oh I have armor I have armor. Well guess what, homie? I don't care about your armor. You hit me all you want. Well, as soon as I get you, I go back up to full. So your life was literally in vain. Besides getting my my bus ass rampage cooldown. That's literally the only thing you did. But I don't care. I think we're, di we're due for a new launcher, so let's take it. Oh, beer bottle. I gotta make sure I shoot that beer bottle. Go. Ooh, red chest. Can't forget about these bad boys. Go next. Now, this was a, a secret by, I believe, Robert Majors in chat. Hit that thing. Oh, I almost killed myself. Hit this, drop back, and we got a nice little thing in here. I really hope I don't get pinched. I mean, they're hit, they're trying to hit me. We're gonna want corrosive damage though, so let's take some of that. Corrosion, corrosion, and maybe we we do melee damage for when we need it. They have a sniper damage relic, but I think I'm okay without it for now. Hey, don't throw that at me. Hey, beer bottle me. Alright, transform into a piece of gear. Transform into a piece of gear. Yeah, that's a good shotgun. Hey, relax. If you, if you destroy my shield, that will become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. I'm not getting much hits. I'm not getting a lot of hits, bro. What in the world? Dude, yeah, this lineup of crits. Flat out snipers are broken. Come on. <laughs> Keep turning, brother. Later. Fire rate and ammo regen? Huge. Oh my. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Imagine how long this would have taken. There we go. All it takes was all it takes is some crits. Alright, last bottle's over there. There we go. That's a nice melee shield, but I'm not taking it. Sticky longbow crows of cloud is good. Alright, now we can take. Sounds the voices and switch out our class mod for this one. I should have done that before. Don't know what I was thinking. All right, let's go next. I know I could climb this to get to another red chest, but what's the opportunity cost? Seriously. Oh, wow. Another enemy that requires corrosive damage. You know what? Let's just start with some of this. And let's see what we can do. Yeah, that's good damage. Haven't hit myself yet. Don't put myself in a position too, either. Okay, make sure we get a kill here. No way! What is that? 
That's broken. That's a that's annoyingly broken. What? Okay, we got one. Holy. Okay. Wow, I was getting nervous right there. I was gonna lose my gourd. Not. Do not do what you're about to do. Ah. Okay, run, 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 run. This is a run angle. I don't know what kind of grenade I have, but let's toss it. Okay, it's a Merv. Just run. Don't worry about shooting right now. Did some did some damage off so it doesn't heal. Looking okay. Oh, I'm out of ammo though. Uh, I got I got a corrosive pistol. But I brought a couple different weapons with me. Yeah, okay, I need to get a kill on one of these laddies. There we go. Get back to full full HP. Kill you. Stop doing that spin attack, brother. Oh, I'm gonna get you. Come on. I think it's I think it's scroll down twice for the launcher. Yeah. Chuck. Did you stop? Thank you. That's that to the to the sky. And he always he always sends his loot over here. I always gotta check over here after this guy. Transformative piece, transformative piece. Ah, uh, come on. Something good here, please. Let's see. A bad touch, a cowboy, a rapier, a twister, and a pimper now. Okay. I think first things first on the realist rapier. The twister is good. But the rapier, it, I do take extra melee damage from enemies, which is tough. The pimper now. Could be sick too. The twister obviously is a good weapon. And I can bu I can buff it up with some shotgun stuff. I'm gonna go right beer. I haven't gotten right beer on Krieg before, uh, in Rogue Lands, so I kind of wanna kind of try it. Now that we're here, we can actually respec. We don't need to build the rampage anymore. Let's go. Increase fire rate while your shields are down. That's going. To, I, th I think that helps my buzz axe throws. Okay. Now we need some points into Bloodfield guns. All right. I believe in us. With the rapier, I think we can maybe get there. It's a lot of extra melee damage. It is. One thing that's nice about going melee career is that I don't have to hit the STUs. I can fish for like a love thumper or something. Come on, love thumper me. Oh, my, my inventory is full. Let's drop some stuff out of here. Right, stuff I'm never going to use. That. Most of these. Keep the transfusion. Keep that one. All these can go. Keep the legendary just in case. Sniper max ammo. No thanks. Good. And then a lot of these weapons. Oh, Fire Teeth of Terramorphous, too. I gotta remember I got that. Which bushwhack's better? That one. We got this. I believe. And let's put this launcher back on. We get one more pull. A game-changing shield. Hector's Paradise and Infection Cleaner. Okay, well, didn't get what we were looking for, but hopefully if Pyro Pete, Pyro Pete's melee attack is going to one-shot my ass. Okay, go ahead. Do the do it. Do the smack. Thank you. 
He's doing that. He's doing. Well, he's doing that attack. Hit him with some attacks. No, he hit me. Okay. Now that he's hit me once, I gotta be careful. Do some tosses. Go, go blood explosion. Go blood explosion. I don't know how to. I don't know how to do the blood explosion tech. Okay, let him hit me once. Got me up. Got me up, brother. I'll I'll come back. Okay, he hit. Let him hit me once. He's do, what, doing that attack. Oh, come on! I can't hit myself. That's an absolute no go. My windows to hit him are so small. Ow. No, not twice in a row, brother. Thank you. I need to spawn more enemies. I also need to go back into... Was that Rampage? Get a couple of strikes off here. Don't hit yourself, brother. No! Enough of hitting yourself. If you, if you cannot win doing that. That's good deeps. Good deeps. I really went into buzz a fight for your life right there. Stop. Okay. I'm running out of things to kill if I die, so let's back off a little bit. We do good damage with our throws. Okay, spawn in some lads, these kind. Oh, that's not bad damage from our star rifle, to be honest with you. All right, let him burn me a little bit. There we go. Punch doesn't do much. I'm invincible. Yes, he's doing a different animation. Good. Yes. We got this guy. Okay, we go. We go into Buzz Axe Rampage. Huge. Okay. Oh. He goes down. Now, please tell me he dropped me something transformative. I should pick up this iridium. It's big chunks of iridium here. Holes of the box are going to become extremely important. I don't see anything. Oh, here we go. The evolution. Regenerates health while active. Shield damage increases health. Regeneration rate. Sure, why not? A wretcher? <laughs> Can I get something decent, brother? This is the, the run that wasn't meant to be. Okay, Deadly Bloom. When health or shields are depleted, release... No. Alright, maybe grab a Jolt's candy. It's not gonna be worth it, though. Okay, that's okay. I'm not... Oh, we Actually, we probably want a melee shield instead. Now that I think about it. Flamebuck Refuge, which one is this? Is this the... Oh, this is the fall one. Okay. Um, I think this was just them messing around with the textures and the map, seeing what they could make. But a love thumper is still the number one we're looking for. Hide of Terramorphus is up there as well. We haven't gotten anything that can really transform us into a fire build. So we're looking okay. We're going to tier two. Looking for, again, looking for a love thumper, hopefully. That was a decent fight for us. Even though his melee attack does a bajillion damage, we knew it was going to one-shot us. We knew go we knew every time he hit us, we we're going to be put to one health, so make sure there were enemies around to kill. And that's what we did. So Now that we have some mobbing rounds, I think we'll be fine. The Boneyard. Oh yeah, let's go. That's a that's a pretty big boom. Pretty big boom. Does the rock fire fast or slow? Fast. Okay. Later. Later. Okay, brother. Okay, okay. Two shot ultimate badass. That ain't bad at all. Let's go, baby. Yeah, we finally did get the rapier on Krieg, which is huge for us. I'm a large lad. I jump back here. I thought there was. Okay, yeah, there is. 
All right, let's see. I just don't see any of that stuff being that good for us. In tier 3, those weapons would maybe be a little bit more transformative. I was really hoping to get myself like a shield that really pops off by now, but... Oh, yeah, Xgag? I mean... My melee damage is is good even without... Uh, Buzzax Rampage right now. Now we can start getting some actual good skills. All, all damage reduced while in Buzzax Rampage is reduced. Or all damage we deal is reduced. I can't say the right thing. All damage we take while in Buzzax Rampage is reduced. The problem I'm going to have is stacking up Bloodlust stacks. You know what I'm saying? Because if I can't, if I can't stack Bloodlust stacks, then it's all for naught. I, oh my gosh. I, I actually got one shot right there. By that guy. More loader. He should die. Yeah, it's got got kill these lads apparently first. Two. Go back in. Just use his use his body to block attacks from these other guys. Not bad. He's invincible? Okay, thank you. Oh, nice crit right there. Huge. Did you drop me anything, homie? This guy never drops me anything. Boom, 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 boom. Depending on what raid boss we get, we're gonna need more damage. Come on, one more hit. There we go. Nice try, but you're dead. Toss. Nice. Boom, 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 boom. Is that gonna hit? A little short, a little short. Hey. Stop blowing me up. Do, 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 do. I'll get over to him in a second. I'm just trying to make sure I I get the gear. I right, drop down. Borderline symbols right here. Boom, 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 boom. Other gen per second is good. I think it might be a little bit better than what we're using, but I, the last thing I want to have happen is accidentally uh I'll use that to reset this guy. Here we go. Here we go. I have some stacks of bloodlust, which means now my I actually do take a little bit less damage. This is bad. Well, I can kill this guy, right? Yeah, I can. Use that while he's attacking me from that range. Stand on this side. I'm okay. I can kill this thing again. Unless I hit myself. Unless I hit myself. Thank you. Okay. He's down. Close, but we made it out of there alive. Okay. Take this, take this, and this. Good. And next we take Field Blood. So now we have explosions on our buzz axes, and the explosions do some more damage. Wait, I took light the fuse. That is not correct. That is not correct at all. Strip the flesh. Salt the wound. There we go. Much better. <laughs> so much better. I was going to say, light the fuse is going to get us killed. Hmm. Okay. Alright, come on guys. Uh, for this zone, I'm actually gonna turn down the volume because the audio in this in the zone's a little bit rough. Rampage time. There we go. See ya. See ya. Oh yeah, the, the explosions are doing deeps. 
Hey. Come on now. Nice try, but I'm a, but I live, homie. See ya. All right, where are you at? You down below? Oh no, you're right there. <laughs> Torched. Everything's looking okay. I'm still looking for a better shield. So maybe that would be one, but it's but it's not, unfortunately. Homie, just chill out. <laughs> Captain Blade's auto idol, the most useless one for Krieg ever. Okay, so I don't want increased bu uh buzz action rampage time. I want that invincibility time. I think it's so so important. Take some of that, some of that. And I want my stacks to stay longer. We can turn back up our audio. Okay. The build's looking pretty good. We're gonna be going blood blood explosions. The blood the blood explosions aren't going to be that useful against dragons. But it'll be useful against everybody else. Okay, let's go next. We got this. 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 Until you guys actually want to like engage on me, I'm just gonna keep. I'm gonna open up some chests. Like that Texas bushwhack. Boom. <laughs> Maybe this is the way for this stage. This stage does take a little bit to farm. Just, just farm it now while they're, you know, not aggressing whatsoever because they're so slow. <laughs> Shoot some shovels. I believe in you guys. I do. I'm on your team. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, man. It's too funny. So, last shovel is right around here somewhere. Yeah, right here. Watching our head. Make sure we're watching our health here. We got a lot of gear. Some of it went f Sometimes it goes flying up to that cliff and immediately in a fight for my life. Let's go. Thank you. Big, big sleep. I don't like your game. I don't respect it. Ow. There we go. Finally went got through him. How many times am I going to have to hit myself before I get a kill here? Oh, Sandman. What up? Oh, ouch. That looked like I hurt. That, I have hit myself so much. It's not 12%. There's no way. Later. Hey, get back here. Thank you. That guy almost one-shot me. later all right five more points let's do boiling blood into blood twitch and then blood explosions after i didn't get a chance to look at this stuff on the ground very thoroughly homing shock transfusion with 0, 0.0 yeah Once it finds something, it's going to immediately explode. The problem is that it's going to take a long time to find something because it's homing. But 0, 0.0 is these. Oh, what's up? Okay, I got fooled by the first time I ever did this. Because the first time I ever did this, this he spawned in as a loot enemy. So I thought, like, oh, I'm always going to get good gear from this. But it turns out you don't really. You always get this Morningstar grenade, which I don't think is very good. Like, it kills you. Oh, finally. But there is a loot enemy here. Huge. I see you. What? Didn't think so. Oh, what is it? A bee shield. 
<laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I guess. Later. Oh my. Oh my. Holy. That had oh Ruby, okay. Another fire to the Terramorphous, a tidal wave. Dude, can you move your fat butt, brother? Hmm. Yeah, move your move your big lad out of the way. Okay, five more. A storm or a pitchfork? I like the I like the pitchfork, but I think we'll go storm here. Now. Bada bing, bada boom. So now we can start getting into some luxury points. The fact that killing an enemy with a melee attack increases grenade damage, that was really nice. That was really, really nice. I think getting more fire rate on that would be good. I think this does it. Is there anything else in this tree that I would want, though? I mean, I could. You can't. You can't three. You can't three capstone it. What if we did? What if we got down to fire fiend? And that way, I can stack up. I'm just a little bit nervous about doing it. Taking extra fire damage is rough. But I don't really see another way to... increase our damage output. We still have all of tier 3 to get some points into some skills, so we'll, we'll make it there, but it's just... I just don't see a way to keep improving our build without doing it. I'm gonna have to drop a ton of gear. What'd you get me? Okay. Shields. How many how many times am I gonna pull without hitting getting a shield? Yeah, I have to drop some stuff. This is gonna hurt some people's feelings. Okay. Hard hitter melee shield, that seems really nice. Yeah. The B in the evolution. Active. Just max health. That seems pretty good. I already got my transfusion grenade of the future. I don't see a max health relic being our, our way out. I just have to get rid of stuff, guys. I'm sorry. That has a matching grip. We keep that one. Okay. Doc Striker. I like the Doc Striker, but it's going. Okay. Whatever. All that stuff can go. Doesn't matter to me. What matters to me is getting a roid shield for the ages. Come on! Enough. I mean... You can't always get what you want, but... Please? <laughs> uh, well, I mean, we got another uncapped herald in an infinity. It is what it is. We got this, right? <laughs> oh gosh, now I'm nervous. We need to get a kill with a melee attack and then throw axes. I think that's our way out. In with the storm for a little bit. Hope that the, melee, the base damage of the storm can help us out. Yeah, it's doing good damage. That's actually really good damage. Hey, don't hit me, bro. That's not cool. Spawning some bros. That's... Come on. Spawn some bros, homie. He's like, no, I know you didn't buy it. He's, he's calling my bluff. He's like, I know you didn't buy us to use. Hey, what if I didn't? Eat some storm, homie. 
I just need to take a little bit more damage without going down here. So I'm not quite there. Oh, if I got hit there right there, I think I'd die. Okay, thank you. Finally. Holy moly, bro. Now we can actually fight him. Got through the first step. Step one, get a kill with a melee attack. Step two, throw buzz axes. Get our kill with a melee attack. There we go. Oh, yeah. Boom. Now everything blows up. Let's go. Wow, what a fun combo. Shook it to do. Yes. Now it's all making sense. Where are we at, Crow? Holy it one shots. This is the this is the way. It's the way. You get one kill with a melee attack, and then every Let me just read this. Getting killing an enemy with a melee attack increases grenade damage for each stack of bloodlust, as well as adding bonus stacks to bloodlust. 2.2% per stack. That that puts us at 220% grenade damage. And I think I think Blood Explosion also scales off grenade damage. Look at that. This is an absolute see you later. Look at that, man. Holy brother. I think this is how this is this is the method for for melee damage Kree. This is the blood explosion melee damage Kree right here. Okay, hitting myself is is not the worst thing in the world. Oh, okay. I was I was about to say I'm really not at that breakpoint. I would like it if my kill skills lasted a little bit longer. Okay, get a kill here, and this should one shot or get close to it. There we go. Yeah, make sure we continue to get those kills. Hey, stop pushing me around. Stop pushing me around. Dude, this guy's actually... He's trying to drive me to the, to, to the edge of the stage and then finish me off. One more smack to the face would be decent for me here, to be honest with you. I can, I can never hit myself when I want to. Alright, where's Big Lad? Big lad, big lad, big lad. Okay, I need to get a melee kill. Where's my melee kill at? I, there we go, there's my melee kill. And toss. Not bad. But they gotta do their part and do some damage to me. Thank you. Hey! Stop! Thank you. Okay, we got him. The best part was it's mostly with throws instead of actually melee strikes. Which is very insane for us. Hawkeye or Tattler? Uh, neither, man. <laughs> I'm about a <to> love thumper. <laughs> the reason I want the love thumpers is because it's so massive, it has such massive damage. What is that on the ground? A Thompson? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. We're heading into tier three. You have a good a good set of skills. I have a I have acquired a certain set of skills. I will find you. And I will kill you. Electric chair, sure. M maybe the electric chair will help me stack up some some bloodlust. <laughs> I love the burb is what I want. A million pulls at the box. Why is that enough for you? Open up. Open sesame. Okay. Tier three we go. Please not the Okay. Is this as long as it's not the jumping pad one where you have to like jump right and left? Nope. Okay, this one's fine. This one's a regular parkour. Don't fall. No, not a problem. Oh, 
Not a problem at all. We don't talk about falling. No, no, no. We don't talk about falling. Oh, we're there. Today I watched a little bit of the G2 versus uh, T1 League of Legends MSI best of five, and that was pretty spicy. It's sad that North America can never ever beat the Koreans or the Chinese teams, but at the same time, it's fun to watch G2, the European team, take on uh, the T T1, the best team ever. T1 took it 3-2, but G2 looked good. So sad. The broadcast, though, I like to always pay attention to what the broadcast is doing. The broadcasts, their story was, th this was their story, like, oh, G2 hasn't beaten T1 in forever. This is a like a rivalry, like, that T1 keeps winning. Am I wrong here? I think G2 has beaten T1 one time. It's not like it's like it's been so long since they've beaten them. No, they've beaten them once. Like, I could be wrong about that. But to me, that's not the storyline. The storyline is that T1 are still the Giants. G2 got a lucky series against them, you know, a one off series against them. And they're trying to prove that they are like they are on T1's level, that they are a better team. Um, if they're if they have better form in the day, they'll take it. And I think the three two help that for them. But I also think the three two, um, you know, T one they always look calm, cool, and collected after they win, especially Faker. But they looked really calm, cool, and collected after that series. Like that wasn't affecting them that much. Like they they could they could go, could go on forever. All right, tier three is where I'm a little bit nervous about this build starting to fall off a little bit, but. Once we get uh, a melee kill here, and then switch to explosives, nah, that didn't do it. Maybe we just focus on hitting him with the melee strikes. It's gonna do a lot of damage to me. Usually, you can get a couple of strikes off. Hey, okay. yeah, there we go. Okay, give me give me something like this. Oh, sorry, I like damage. The hard carry is kind of trash. What is this? Mm. I just I put the music is gone by the way uh the breath of the seraphs and the music okay Okay. I think we might be good to move on from the zone, though. Yeah, I just don't get... I just don't get how the... Bro like, the broadcast, they do have, like, storyboard meetings. I know this. Like, what's our story? What's our story? And the fact that, like... like G2 hasn't beaten them in, like... I, In, like, 1,500 days. It's like... One, they, they only... Right. You're the one that only holds two tournaments a year. Like, you're, you're telling me that, like... Oh, they haven't played in... They haven't beat them in so long. How, one, how many chances have they gotten? And two, like, I'm pretty sure they only won once before. It's not like I should be expecting them to win. Oh, wow. That's my badass. Really? Let's just get, let's just get some skills going on. No, 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 no. Bad time to hit yourself, brother. No, a bad time to hit yourself again. I gotta get ready for a different kill. Not good. Not good at all. Oh, no. The run ends, dude. That sucks. Maybe. Maybe. Now it's over. GG. That's okay. Three failed runs on Krieg. But you know what? We tried our best. And sometimes your best isn't enough. But anyways, GG. I'll see you all next time. Bye.